Good evening. From Shamrock Rovers to Shamrock Park, Portadown Football Club have signed one of the most highly rated strikers north or south of the border. Gary Twigg played under Michael O'Neill at Rovers, but moves to the ports on a three-and-a-half-year deal. Jason Gallagher has more. Gary Twigg had made a name for himself in the League of Ireland as a top goal scorer, as well as a legend. The Scot netted 81 times in just 111 league outings and he admits his move wasn't based on footballing reasons. My family's based up here uh, and it's, it's just something I'm at the age now that I feel as if I have to do. I have to be there to uh, help with my wife really, uh, raise two kids and uh, as I say I'm away from home four or five nights a week and it, it's just not good enough. Twig took the advice of Northern Ireland manager Michael O'Neill before making his decision. He brought the player with him when he moved from Brecon to Rovers in 2009. No, I just say that it's, it's a well-run club and uh, they want to do things properly and they, they want to be successful. And uh, when he, he said that, you know what I mean, I, I knew I'd made the right decision. With a lot of effort put into signing the striker, the Portadown manager hopes he can help fill the void left after their top goal scorer moved to Linfield. The club put, it, put a lot of work into trying to get him, you know, we met him three or four times at German. Treasuring myself and whatever, and as I said, we're obviously delighted that uh, we've eventually persuaded him to come. Is Gary an ideal replacement for Matthew Tipton? Well, he's a natural finisher, he's slightly different at uh, the tip, a bit more mobile, you know. Uh, he's decent in the air, and as I said, he's, he's too footed and he can score goals, and that's the reason why we signed him. Twig won't be available until January, but after just finishing a full season with Rovers, he'll be glad of some rest. Yes,